everybody. Welcome back. Today I'm going to screw around some more for no good reason. I'm just, you know, crazy bored. So I found uh, at my mom's, she still had her old camcorder that my dad picked up way back. This is from 1995. It's a Sony Handycam camcorder. And uh, I just was like, what would this look like recording off a CRT from, you know, the 90s? and using a camcorder from the 90s and i mean you can see it looks pretty good here i should have probably just recorded golden axe because it was really coming through nice and colorful and i decided to switch to castle of illusion which was a bit more muted in the colors and stuff so it didn't really uh come out as as well as i thought it was going to but still it's got a really you know fun look to it uh ignore the lights on the side that's the christmas tree lit up you know we couldn't we couldn't wait till thanksgiving we put it up last weekend or, or earlier in the week sorry this is the weekend so it was earlier in the week and uh you know i was just having fun i was bored the other evening i was feeling a little run down then got a little energy boost i'm like ah you know what i'll pull out this old this old garbage and see what it can do now you can see the biggest problem with this is it doesn't like dealing with the color and the contrast changes so uh, i had to put it in the mode there's all there's not all kinds of modes there's three or four modes on here one's like a fast shutter mode i'd like to try that and see how it comes out but what happens is if you catch this at the wrong angle you get a big black bar in it just like when you record with any anything but this one's super sensitive to it so i had to use the nighttime recording mode drop down the brightness in this and um you know when 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 you've got a lot of the uh, the the background that's black, it, it gets even more washed out. So I think it's worth playing around with, just seeing like what's going to look better. Uh, maybe maybe games that have more black in the background are going to look worse because of the contrast. It doesn't like handling that, and maybe I just need more games that fill up the screen that are very colorful. But this gives a great look of the '90s. Uh, just recording off a, a camcorder or having something on a VHS tape. So I like the look of it. It's like having a filter without having to use a filter, and it it only takes a few minutes to hook up. Uh, it's a bit of a you know it's a bit of a wonky mess, but that's okay. It's 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 fun, and it just gives me like that feeling of what it would be like to have recorded these games back then. So I'll probably do a few more and see if I can improve the quality a bit. It's obviously a little soft. Um, the resolution on this thing isn't super high, and I'm just passing it through the Elgato. But I was pretty pleased with thinking that, you know, if we were recording stuff back in the 90s and transferred these little 8 millimeters to regular tape, you know, you probably would have lost some quality in the transfer. And then putting it, you know, back onto a PC, you know, recording from a, a VHS back to PC. But it would have been nice to have some old original gameplay. I, I mean, I don't know why I didn't. It's just lazy, obviously, because it would have just taken a few different steps to do it. But all in all, it's kind of fun to see what, you know, to mimic what it would have been like back in the 90s to record some video gameplay. So I'm just going to let this run a little bit. I kind of chopped it up. I, I went through the first, like, level and a, and a half, and, you know, just so you can see how it looks. And, see um you know it, it captures it pretty well i mean it doesn't it doesn't seem to you know choppy um considering it's 30 frames and the you know the game's 30 frames you get a lot of stuff that can blink out like when you get hit you know the flashing and stuff but it kind of catches up on and off because they're probably just a little out of sync so it doesn't look too bad and um you know the one thing i think was you know maybe something that was a lot more colorful and bright would would just pop a little bit more but you know you can see it pretty well it came out okay and I, I was just having fun and I'll probably continue to do a handful more of these which you know may interest 20 people in the world but it, it was interesting to me so I just wanted to give it a go so well there you are you know there's a few minutes left watch it if you like nothing exciting is going to happen it's just gameplay of a, a, a fantastic game of that era I mean anyone that that had got this way back it was like you were really playing a cartoon back then it really felt good i mean nes could do a good job with you know having kind of cartoony graphics but once you got the genesis coming out you know things really stepped up and of course then you have the super nintendo and beyond that but 
this was really one of those times where you felt like you were playing a cartoon. So I figured I'd just showcase this because I have a, a lot of good memories of, of uh, the early days of the Genesis before the Super Nintendo came out that, that year and a half or two years where it was just uh, all Genesis and Turbo Graphics for me along with, you know, messing around with some handhelds like the Lynx and, and uh, the Game Boys. So, so ho hopefully you enjoy this little throwback and Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. So long.